Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Y'all see the title? Y'all see the title? This is the countdown. This is the countdown. The, this is the countdown to November the 8th. This is almost the time for the one year anniversary when the liberals was crying, when they were sitting there screaming. This is the time. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. All right. I just want to bring in this time. I want to bring in, we got a lot. Uh, see, it'll be uh, 12 o'clock my time. Midnight my time in my nine minutes. So I want y'all to share the moment with me. Let's share the moment that we, that a lot of us was nervous. Stomach balled up. Let me explain this, y'all. Let me, let, me, let me tell y'all my story over here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is my story before we go into the countdown, right? Before we go into the countdown. So cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Great to see you, Mike. Mick. Cheers, Angie. I was a nervous wreck that night. I was a nervous wreck that day. I remember it was 7 o'clock. I was sitting here shaking. Like, oh, oh, Hillary's up in the polls by 10. You know, they was trying to say it to us. You know what I'm saying? Two weeks before the election. Oh, she's up. Everybody looking like, oh, he ain't going to win. I'm like, oh, man, it don't look good. We screwed if she get in office. We screwed. And I look. He was up. Hey, Penny. He was up. He was up. I look like, whoa. I look like, I ain't finna, I ain't finna get too happy yet. Until it is over. It ain't over until the fat lady sing. I was waiting for that fat lady to sing, you dig? I was like, come on, fat lady. Get up and sing. Get your fat ass out and sing. For real. That's how I felt. I was like, come on. Sing, fat lady. Sing. Come on. Sing. Sing. I was like, sing, everybody. Sing. We gonna do this. And all of a sudden... Everything got quiet. Everything got quiet. The atmosphere had shifted. All of a sudden, look, he was up. He was up by a lot, by a margin, right? Nice margin. He won by a landslide, right? I'm stepping there like to see if Trump supporters calling me like, hey, Mo, did you see this? Hope calling me. You see this? I'm like, it, it ain't over yet. No, it's over. Have confidence. Like, no, man. It ain't over until it's over. I'm waiting for them to ring the bell. I'm waiting for them to ring the bell. And then when they ring the bell, I'm going to yell, Adrian! Yo, Adrian! We did it! We did it! We did it! We defeated Hillary Clinton! We defeated political correctness! And this is my first stat that I put up. I'm actually going to share it later on. This is the first stat I updated my status. You know what I did when I updated my status? The first thing I put is, rest in peace, political correctness. And I post it. Oh, man. I was off the next day at work, right? I was off the next work, the day at work, right? <laughs> Woo. I was off the work the next day. Guess what I did? Since I was off of work, you know, my, my job was a liberal store. I was off work. I came to work on my off day the next day, pretend like I had, I, I mean, doesn't pretend to go shopping. I came in. On my off day at work, and I looked at the face. I'm walking in smiling, and I walked to my guy last here, Trump support. We hugged each other like, yeah. I said, yeah, y'all can't get me from laughing. I'm laughing. Uh huh. I'm laughing at you now. <laughs> we got mad trolls. That's what we do. We got mad trolls. Hey trolls, how you doing, trolls? How you doing, trolls? Y'all mad? Y'all had to get on here and be mad. Hey trolls, good to see you, trolls. We won. Don't be mad. You did, but they were so angry. They were so angry. Hey, Penny, 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 Penny. Free hug, lady. Let's give it up for the free hug. I swear, if I'd have known you, I would have gave you 50 free hugs back on that election night. I wish I'd have known you on that election night. I wish I was, I would even, I wasn't even doing videos during that time. You dig? But I said, rest in peace. Political correctness. It's been a long time since your political correctness has been here. It's been a long time. You, you will be missed, political correctness. 
You will be missed. Ha! But not by us. You would only be missed by the lipped hearts. You will only be missed by the globalists. You will only be missed by the communists. You will only be missed by the sensitive people. You will only be missed by the dictators. Hooey. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And the beat don't stop to the break of dawn. Oh, I was so laughing. I was like, <laughs> I was like choking laughing, man. I was so happy. Like, yes, now what? Now what? Man, I walked outside. It was quiet. It was quiet. I said, then why are so quiet? Y'all don't even know why you, you voted for Hillary anyway. And you so quiet. Why are you so upset? Why do you want to get upset and you don't even know why you voted? You don't even know your policy. You don't even know nothing. Why are you so upset over something that you don't even know about? You just upset because everybody else is upset. You upset because you just, because you made yourself upset. That's why you upset. Y'all make yourself upset. The liberals have made themselves upset. They have made themselves go into a screaming rage. Rage. You know what I'm saying? Like a rage. Like, ah! Ah! Trump won. Ah! We're screwed. He's going to build a wall. He's going to build a wall. Somebody help me. Ah! This is just a bad dream. You know that one liberal? You see that meme all over with that with that big old giant American hat, that long American hat, and sit there and scream like, ah! And everybody screenshot it that way right there, like, ah! And he's like, ah! And they look it up like, why? Why? And they was like, take me, take me. They was just, they were, they were, they were in the rage, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Trump, yeah, the center they, they got mad. And, they were so mad. They were so mad. They was not glad at all. And we sitting up here like this smirking. <laughs> look, phone calls start coming. Everybody calling like, yeah. Look, look, as soon as I get, Auntie had called me. She didn't even say, hey, how you doing, Nancy? She's like, hey, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking to say, yeah. <laughs> we were, yeah, yeah. We didn't even talk to you. We was like, yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, Ooh, I got another phone call. I'll call you back in a little bit. All of a sudden, I answered the phone. I got a car from work. He was a trust reporter. Yeah! I'm like, this is it. Yeah! 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 And my other guy called. Yeah! Yeah! Hope called me like, yeah, bro! Yeah! Yeah! We step in like this. Like, hey! 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 Yeah! 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 We won! We won! We won! We got the victory! We got the victory. You know why we got the victory? Because God wins first. Anyway, God always wins. So political correctness is gone. They mad. They were so mad. Look, you notice afterwards, Trump kept his little cool. You know, he wasn't like, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was all calm. He liked to calm the first week. He sit there. He was right next to Obama like this. And Obama looking at him like this here. This, 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 this dude right here. <laughs> he they shook his hand at the White House. It was it was hard for him to do it, you know. Or, look, look, Trump don't even like Hillary Clinton. He was looking like he said, "Congratulations to Hillary Clinton, everybody." And you know, what I'm saying he tried to be classy. He did, you know, you know, that's the right thing to do. But it was fun. Okay, y'all ready? It's almost noon. Look, that's at noon. It's almost midnight. It's eleven fifty nine, y'all. It's eleven fifty nine. It's eleven fifty nine. November eighth is going to be here momentarily, you day. So let's go ahead and count down. All right, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, November the 8th, yeah, one year, one year later, one year later, and he's still our president. Y'all keep on saying Trump is not your president, president, but one year later, he is still your president. Deal with it, everybody. Deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Deal with it. It's the countdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. November the 8th. 
right here. This is bigger than November the 4th. The hell with November the 4th. This is bigger. November the 8th. That's why it was mad. They was trying to go on a suicide mission. They was just mad before November the 8th. But the hell with November the 4th. November the 4th can kiss my ass. <laughs> Hey, hey, so liberals, liberals deal with it. He's your president. If you don't like your, if you don't like him as your president, if you say he ain't your president, find a way to go to Canada, find a way to go to Africa, find a way to go to China, and let them deal with your political correct ass. And that's real. Hey, Karen, you know what I'm saying? This is November the eighth. This is the day. This is the day. The, on this day, on this day, we can't, we got a new sheriff in town. On this day, political correctness just got shot. Political political correct political correctness just have been gunned down. On this day, we have put political correctness in a chokehold. Like, yeah, political correctness. Uh-huh, uh-huh, with your little sensitive self. Yes, yes. Now we can focus on bringing our jobs back. Now we can focus on protecting our borders. Now we can focus on focus on building the wall. Now we can focus on draining the swamp. We're going to get the Democrats and we're going to get the lame Republicans later. You know what I'm saying? So, on this day, y'all, on this day, on this day, y'all, it was a good day. I felt like Ice Cube. Today, I didn't have to use my AK. I got to say, today was a good day. Today was a good day, y'all. And right now, today is a good day. So rub it in. November the 8th. That the, ooh, we. Hey, Antifas. I'm calling y'all. I know y'all hear me, your mama basement. Today is November the 8th. What y'all want to do? I'm making fun of y'all today, Antifas. Antifas. Antifas, you pop tart eating bastards. We made history, Antifas. We made history, Black Lives Matter. We made history, Hillary Clinton. We made history. We made history. We made history. We did it, y'all. We did it. It's our time to shine. It's our time to shine, right? It's not time to shine. Uh-uh. It's my time. It's your time, y'all. It's everybody's time to shine. It's everybody's time to shine. We already have shine. We got the victory. November the 8th, y'all. Remember, this is bigger than November the 4th. This, this is what I was looking forward to a year later. Uh-huh. Yeah. A year later, there's a new H-N-I-C. Uh-huh. Political correctness is dead. You know, that's why they hurried up right after the election. Boom, the protest, the protest, the protest, the protest. The Antifa just coming out the woodwork. They came out, came out the blue. You know what I'm saying? Joe Soros like, like, get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm going to pay out. We're going to get them. We're going to stop that Trump. We're going to stop that Trump. You haven't seen the last of us, Antifas. We are coming for you guys. No, them are the eighth, the new Independence Day. For real, I will never forget no November the eighth. Never, and that's not ever forget no November the eighth, because November the eighth is a blessing. It wasn't even a blessing in the skies. It's a blessing. You dig? November the eighth. So, all right, y'all. All right, I just want to bring in the new year with everybody. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Huh? Huh? Happy New Year. I love the countdown, y'all. Thank you, everybody, for coming on. We won. We won, and we keep winning. You know what I'm saying? And you know why we keep on winning? The lowest unemployment rate in 16 years. If that ain't winning, that's winning. We won. You dig? We have won. And there are way more that he have done. He have actually done more in office when he was a president-elect. He was already taking care of business before he was inaugurated. He was taking care of business before that one. I don't know if y'all remember that one. He was taking care of business. He was already doing stuff, man, getting stuff in the, make, in the makings. He was already in the preseason, you dig? And then the regular season came. 
boom, everything. Executive orders, boom. You know what I'm saying? When that regular season came, uh-huh, here we go. Right here, right here, right here. He was busy, he was busy, he did this, he did this. You know what I'm saying? Man, they don't want they don't want to talk about the good thing that Trump done. They don't want to talk about this. They don't want to talk about when he said worship God, not government. He even told y'all don't even worship him. Don't even idolize him. He said that. But people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. All right? All right, I'm gone, y'all. I'm gone, man. I just wanted to bring it in with everybody, man. I just wanted to be on here for this a little bit, y'all, man. It's been almost like 15 minutes, and that's it. I just did a little rant. Make sure y'all share this video. Get the word out. All right. Much love, y'all. All right. Yeah, November the 8th. All right. All right. You know, I'm I'm gone, y'all. I'm gone. All right. Much love. Make America great again. You dig?